Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, <laughs> crazy boy. Look at your ears. Your ears are flipped. Your ears are flipped. Do you want your cake? Look at Good morning, guys. It is too bright out there. Today is Sunday, November 13th. Happy Sunday. I love Sundays. When Kiko's home, we go to church together. When he's not, I spend a lot of time by myself and with God because I haven't gone to church without him. And by myself, I feel like that's just a hurdle I need to get over. But today's not that day. <laughs> Coffee machine's heating up. <clears throat> I'm gonna make some breakfast and a coffee. And I'm starting off a new vlog with this video. Probably be like a, just a couple days in my life. Keiko's gone working at 96 this week. So he left this morning and comes back on Thursday morning. Life of a firefighter wife. Sucks sometimes. <laughs> oh, good morning. Thank you. Luckily, I have this guy to keep me company. If I didn't, I would be extremely lonely, you guys. Okay. But yeah, welcome back to my channel. I always start my videos off with a bump date. So, for 25 weeks and four days. Wednesdays are my, like, days that I turn another week. And it's Sunday. 25 weeks with baby boy feeling good just getting a little more uncomfortable every day because the bump is growing every day and it's definitely something i'm getting used to he's moving like crazy like yesterday we felt his hiccups for the first time yesterday i woke up and i woke kiko up and i was like give me your hand and then we felt it it was like right here and it was just a constant like it felt like a heartbeat like it wasn't super strong yet to where like my whole belly's like pulsing but it just felt like a really strong heartbeat and it was super consistent and lasted like a few minutes so that was fun. First time feeling his hiccups. Um, we saw his hiccups when we did our anatomy scan under 20 week, but feeling them is funny. And then all day yesterday, he was moving so much. Like, and I feel like they're huge movements now, like not just little kicks or like little taps, but more so like rolls and like, I can feel them in multiple places at once now. And I know he's a big, strong boy and he's getting really big and it's very exciting and we are so pumped we actually just finalized a date for our baby shower because we obviously want to have a baby shower but with kiko's schedule like he's already trading off his days in february for around the due date and he's trading off his days but the people that he's trading with want him to work like in december and november and january but so his like days are all spread out right now and he's working so much overtime and so many traded shifts so that he can have that time off in february because they don't get set time off for paternity leave which i don't understand but yeah so he's doing that so he's working a lot which makes it really hard for us to find a date for the baby shower we finally finalized one and the earliest we can do it is when i'm 36 weeks prayers baby boy doesn't come super early not that there's any reason that he would but you never know and that's gonna kind of worry me and stress me out a little bit but we should be fine so yeah baby shower will be like end of january and i'm due february 22nd so That'll be fun. But now we have a lot of time to plan for that, so. I'm done rambling. Let's make some breakfast. Okay, breakfast and coffee is made. I just made a cream cheese bagel. And this gingerbread creamer, you guys, is so good. Mm-mm. So good. I'm gonna sit here, eat my breakfast, and then probably just gonna finish watching a video until I'm done. <laughs> Okay, just sat outside and played fetch with Rocco for a little bit and it's so cool crisp weather so it was so nice but I have a few packages that are just sitting on our dining table that I need to show you so I could put them away because I wanted to wait till I was vlogging to share these things a few baby products and a couple house 
decor products. Rocco's drinking water. <laughs> also, aren't these pictures so cute? They're finally hung and it feels so homey in here now, but this brand called Daffodilly, it's one of the cutest baby clothes stores. Um, I've ordered from them before, but then they reached out and wanted to send baby boys in pieces. So I'm so excited because everything is so cute. So I got to pick out a few things and they just sent them over. So I'm so excited. But this little beanie, so cute. It says, got it from my mama with a little bear. Two little bears on it. Adorable. He's going to live in beanies. I think little babies in beanies, boy or girl, are just so cute. This little knit sweater. I actually have one that's like exact same, maybe a little bit darker. But but baby boy and mama are gonna match. These are so cute. I got three of these sweater bubble rompers because they're, they just launched the day that I placed my order. They had all sizes, all colors in them and they are so cute. Look at this. The material is also so thick. The inside's like fleece and I got these in three to six months. So cute. So I got this brown one, khaki, kind of green, sage green color, so stinking cute, and then a cream, which is, guys, I just, outfits, like, I cannot wait to dress this baby. So these are super cute, like I said, they're so thick, so I'm obsessed, they're such heavy duty. And then I picked out this little knit tie rib bit, and it's so cute. I don't have any of the tie ones, and I heard people love them for obviously like easy changes and stuff, but we'll just see what I end up liking with him and what he's comfortable in. But so this is the first like tie gown that I got, but it's like a green and it's so cute. And then I got two of these just ribbed onesies with the buttons. So cute, a little cream one and then a dark olive green, which are so stinking cute. I wanna make a TikTok of all these cute pieces. So I'm gonna do that today. But thank you Daffodilla because I'm obsessed with these pieces and he's gonna have the cutest clothes. I'm gonna be so jealous because definitely gonna have cuter clothes than me, but that's okay. And then this brand called Love and Wild was so so kind enough to send me one of their journals. I actually discovered them on Etsy and they have the cutest like baby milestone journals and like pregnancy journals and like just journals to keep like track of life and like what's going on and stuff. So they sent me one of their baby journals. I think that it is so cute and it's so precious. It comes in this little box. It's this linen journal that says baby on it in gold and the inside is so cute it just has like all the baby's milestones so this is like once baby's actually born but they also have a pregnancy version which i really want to get to like first of all catch up on the 25 weeks that i've already <laughs> missed in the journal and then just have to like document the rest of the pregnancy so i definitely want to pick that one up too but this one just has the first five years of the baby so it does have a page that says we're having a baby how and when we found out we were expecting memorable moments waiting for you what we're most excited for and reason we chose your name. It has a lot of blank picture, blank pages to like add print out photos and stuff. And then it has this family tree page, which I just think is cool. So you fill in all of the baby's great grandparents, their grandparents, and then our parents. And then the birth story, all the hospital or birthings, and then a page for every single month. And it also has just so many other cute things like holidays. It has this page for your first for their first haircut, and it comes with a little envelope, put a little snag of their hair. I'm obsessed. It's gonna look really cute just in the nursery too, so. Baby is so loved already. Those are the only baby things. And then I got two Amazon packages. I know what one of them is. I ordered some PJs because my siblings and I have like, oh, these are so soft. Annual Christmas PJ parties at my sister's house. Decorate cookies and do just Christmas things. And it's so fun because we all finally get to get together and we're all pretty older now. Like I'm the youngest of all my siblings and I have four. Everyone's married with kids and it's kind of hard to all get together, but we always make it work. And that's why we look forward to like our Christmas party so much because we just get to hang out and wear Christmas PJs. And I found this red dress. PJ dress and I think it's gonna be so cute. Definitely really stretchy and I got it in a medium so that it could fit the bump. Hopefully it'll fit in about a month because I know I'm gonna get bigger by then but this is so soft. I'll link this down below. I looked high and low for a good PJ dress, like quality one and I found this one and I'm so happy. So I had this brand on Amazon. Leikar, L-E-I-K-A-R. I've been obsessed with PJs guys, like Christmas PJs. I have like five pairs now for this year and I'm set. Although I still have one more set coming from Amazon also. Same color, but just like a pants and a long sleeve set. And I can't wait. Pillowcases. 
for the couch because I really want oh these are so cute I really wanted to implement more red to our Christmas decor because I have a lot of green from last year but not as much red I kind of stayed away from the red but now I'm like no Christmas is red red and green it is like subtle red and green so I found these which are so cute they're linen pillowcases these red and cream stripes and these will be adorable to switch out onto our couch and I think this is a really good idea rather than getting actual new pillows every year for like every holiday is just get inserts that are like a size a set size so these are 16 by 16 and I have a 16 by 16 in pillow inserts and I just get new cases for like the different seasons so right now I have I'm just gonna show you the living room's a mess right now because Keiko and I chilled in here last night and watched the UFC fights, but well, I slept, he watched them. So these are the ones I have right now. These are the same size, but this is just good for like every day. And then we'll switch these out, which will be so stinking cute. Just really changes the vibe and adds more Christmas. So very excited about that. Okay, the kitchen is due for a quick little cleanup just like wipe of everything so i'm gonna do that and just kind of clean up the house a little bit like the living room's a little messy with all the pillows everywhere play maverick city music maverick city music is <laughs> vlog in the morning but that's just when I'm in the best mood when I'm when I have the most energy obviously I'm definitely more of a morning person than a night person nowadays but today set active sweat set and some Ugg slippers because it's still pretty chilly it's actually supposed to be like 75 later this week so that'll be a little switch up of things but these pants barely fit me <laughs> now but they're on their last stretch for sure so I'm gonna wear them as long as I can because I love these sets but yeah my sister's gonna come over any minute now and we're actually going to paint part of the nursery that's like the last wow factor of the nursery painting like a little sun that's going around the crib which is going to be so cute i'm so excited so she's going to come over and help me with that because she's very both of my sisters are very artistic and i didn't really get as much of that gene as they did so Brittany's going to come over help me do that but i'm making breakfast right now i need to make coffee that's perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay oh oh i'm trying to look this Move, move, no, move. no, excuse me. Move, move. You really <laughs> have to be right here. Come here, come here. Bye bye. Come on, go get her. Go, 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 go. get her. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Lean it. She's helping me draw the sun. Couldn't do it without her. <laughs> Maybe you could have. The chaos you heard was her trying to get Rocco out of the room. <laughs> Look. Yeah, I see it. Only on the paper, okay? Can you paint? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna paint you. You're gonna paint me. That's a cool. Is it done? I'll paint. Wait, not yet. Can you mix it? Yeah, can you see this? Right here. Wow. wow. Ah. Okay, listen. If you dip it, you dip it and then you wipe it off like that so it doesn't drip, okay? okay. You don't go boop boop, okay? Do you want me to do the line? Yeah. I mean the Is start. it is it this? You can start filling it. I'll use this. Wow, that's cool. 
I can go um over the edges mm -hmm. on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Remember, wipe it off like this. So beautiful. You think it's so beautiful? Yeah. Riley! Riley, you're getting paint on her! And on the board! Oh gosh. It's okay. <laughs> oh, well, that's a bit bro. A bit painted it's like an hour later my sister just left and it oh my gosh i have paint in my hair because my nephew got paint in my hair with a paintbrush but it looks so good i'm so obsessed with the wall it's exactly what i envisioned it to be and it was so easy to do with her help obviously but yeah it looks so so good and i haven't even shown you the crib yet so here it is but the sun looks so good it obviously needs to be centered a little more but as of right now i just put it up against the wall but it looks so cute and the color is perfect but yeah these two pieces by the way are from baby leto I'm obsessed. They're both like brand new pieces to their website. So I'm so excited. And I actually just ordered a crib mattress for the crib because they were 20% off and I really wanted the Newton Baby crib mattress. So ordered that because I am working with Baby Leto on these two pieces. So I wanted to have the mattress here for when I make content for them um, instead of just having an empty crib. <laughs> so look at this getting real guys but i was on tiktok and i don't know what my for you page is doing but i'm getting so many videos of people eating wingstop and talking about how they have the best ranch ever and i've only ever had wingstop one time in my entire life and it was at an airport during a layover and it was okay we have like a better wings place to me here in san diego called wings and things i actually used to work there i might be biased but it really is one of the best my favorite wings place for sure. I don't know why I just had a huge random craving for wing stop. So I door dashed wing stop and that's on its way and I'm so excited for lunch. I may or may not have door dashed every single day Keiko has been gone this week. This is my third day in a row. No one take financial advice from me because yeah, it's a problem. But I came on here to show you this room. I'm so, so, so happy with it. We also got sent, if you've heard of Wild Bird, they sell carriers and I'm pretty sure they sell other random things too, but they're known for their carriers. Like they have the sling um, carriers with the ring on it, but I'm not really a fan of those. I just don't have any desire to buy any of the wrap carriers like that or the sling carriers. So they came out with a new carrier that's like a buckle one, like a typical structured baby carrier called the aerial carrier and they have so many cute colors they actually sent me one which is a dream i was in between so many different prints that they have that i decided on this beautiful green color because i need to add more color into baby's wardrobe and things this is what it looks like that's what the carrier looks like so cute i wanted this color also but i've done so many things in this color recently like our wedding <laughs> had so much of that Tan color, all the suits were that color. So, like I said, I decided on getting something. I also have a beige carrier too. It's not Wild Bird, but it's 
Lollaboo. I didn't want to get another beige care and I just, like I said, wanted some color and I don't want to open this yet, but I'm so excited about this and I love Wild Bird for being so generous to send this to me. I'm so excited to use it. Obviously, I want this baby boys here. I don't know if I've shown you this, but I've had these for so long. They're by Forever French Baby. Three different swimming trunk options. So cute. They're all like three to six months, I think. Yeah, three to six months, so. Oh my gosh. Here's this pair. There's this pair and this pair. So stinking cute. They have so many cute baby swimsuits and I'm obsessed with them. They also have matching girl versions. And if you had boy girl twins, like that would be the cutest thing ever or just siblings in general, but I'm obsessed. And by the time he's 36 months, it'll be summertime in the hotter months because he's going to be born in February. So that'll be perfect. And I can't wait. Look at this room. <laughs> okay, the wing stop has arrived. The ranch. I feel like one of those TikTok people now. I got a side of their corn because I'm obsessed with corn and people talk about it all the time also, so I had to try it. But the main course. <gasps> they forgot my fries. We've got some boneless wings. Sad, sad moment. Good morning, guys. Need to get out of the house today. <laughs> I feel like I haven't left the house. Well, actually, I haven't left the house in like two days. I don't even, I don't even want to talk about it. But <laughs> I do have a cold right now. My nephew had a pretty bad cough. You know how three-year-olds are. Don't always know how to cover their mouths. <laughs> so I did get sick from him, but... Yeah, I just have a stuffy nose and a little bit of a sore throat. My throat was sore two days ago, so maybe we're slowly getting better, but not fun. And then I heard this is like a pregnancy symptom, but to have your gums be like, sw not swollen, but well, yeah, kind of swollen and raw. Like the roof of my mouth right now, I have like two sores kind of. They're not like actual sores, but they're like super, super sensitive and raw on the top of my mouth. So like anything I eat or even drink kind of hurts it. So that's something too, but we need to get out of the house today. We do because I feel like I've been cooped up in here. Kiko finally comes home from work tomorrow, but until then, I need to keep myself busy today. And I think I'm gonna go to my niece's soccer practice later, which is at like 4 p.m. 10 right now. And I turned 26 weeks today, so I just took my 26 week bump pic and TikTok update. But I'll show you the bump and the fit, I guess. Here's the bump. Here's baby boy. He has a name, by the way, if you didn't catch that in my Christmas video. Obviously not sharing quite yet. This, I love this sweater so much. It's from Abercrombie. It's a large and it's just so comfy. Camo, line leggings, and my Ugg dupes. They are from Marshalls last year for like $20. They're the best ever because they're like exactly like the real thing. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Starbucks. My excuse for that. <clears throat> Because I have to give an excuse, right? My excuse for that is because I don't have decaf beans right now. I want to get a half-calf coffee. Not, I'm not feeling full-calf today. I just want to be really chill and zen and rest today. So I don't want to be high-strung on caffeine. So I want to get a half-calf. I also really want that, like, cinnamon... Not cinnamon. That, like, chocolate roll thing that they came out with this year. And then I'll probably just go to a few random stores i don't need to buy anything because i've been buying kind of a lot online like all these new early black friday deals have really been getting me so it's mainly stuff for like baby <laughs> but i've been spending kind of a lot i just want to go and walk around so that's what we're gonna do and yeah let's go okay we are in the starbucks drive through now there's two starbucks like pretty close to each other literally like a block away one of them was completely empty no line at all and i decided to go to the one that's so busy no parking nothing but this one had the um the chocolate swirl thing that i wanted to get and the other one was out so i kind of had to come here but i think i'm going to target after this because i need one more stocking holder i just looked on the app and it said that they don't have them in stores anymore so that's kind of stressful and it says it's online only so i might have to order it if this one doesn't have it we'll be hopeful and we'll see okay we just got to target my coffee isn't as good as the Starbucks that I normally go to like they didn't make it really the same but I think I'm just finding things to complain about at this point because they took so long it still tastes good but it's not the same does that make sense but my go-to iced order is an iced dopio in a grande cup, half decaf with two pumps of caramel brulee and a regular splash of oat milk and it's delicious caramel brulee is just 10 out of 10 I also got the chocolate pistachio swirl. It looks like this, and it's basically a cinnamon roll, but it's there's no cinnamon in it or like icing. 
it's so good. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm gonna eat this and then head inside, but. Okay, man, do I have a haul for you. <laughs> This was not planned. First of all, I um, forgot my wallet. I realized I switched purses one night, a few nights ago. Put my wallet in a different purse and then I forgot to put it back in my belt bag. So, good thing I have my card number memorized and was able to quickly put it in Apple Pay. So now I have Apple Pay, but that was a scary moment. My anxiety like <laughs> went through the roof when I realized my wallet wasn't in my purse, which was really scary. But I have a haul from Target, obviously, because I just went to Target. And then I also placed an order from Bed Bath & Beyond because we had a gift. <sighs> I'm like so out of breath right now. <sighs> Let me catch my breath. We had a gift card from Bed Bath & Beyond from our wedding that we never used. So I just placed an order a couple days ago and it just got here. I also have a package from Princess Polly because I placed an order for three items that I really wanted. And then a couple Amazon things. So literally so much to show you. So we're gonna get into it. We can start with the Princess Polly things because that's what I'm most excited for. I literally went to Target for the stocking holder and they didn't have it, but granted, the one I went to is a smaller Target. So their like hearth and hand selection is tiny. It's like half an aisle long. So not really surprised that they didn't have it, but I got three things from Princess Polly. Bump friendly, obviously, mainly for our baby moon that we're going on in literally two weeks. First are these super comfy pants. I got these in a size 10 because they were on sale and this is the smallest size they had but honestly with the bump this is gonna be perfect i love these so much they're just like beige comfy pants and i have some kind of similar to this from lulu's that i literally wear every single day i'm sure you've seen them so many pictures and videos but these look so comfy and i think they're only like 20 bucks so i'm excited about these and then i wanted a couple of dressier pieces for the baby moon we're going to cabo and obviously i want to look cute some of the days so this is a size eight Again, these were all sale items. I had to work with the sizes that they had, but with the bump, it all works out. So it's just this green slinky skirt. I think it's a midi skirt. Actually, it's like a maxi. It's a really, really pretty green color. It's a little bit darker than it's showing in the camera, but nevertheless, it is so pretty. So I'm so excited to style this like a little white tank or something. This is completely different material than I thought, but this is a skirt and it's like a maxi skirt, but so cute. I got it in a size six, literally a size six, eight and 10 three different items but it's this it looks like a dress it's a maxi skirt but it's like cinched on the top part so i don't know how the heck this is gonna look with the bump it looked cute with on the model who obviously doesn't have a bump i figured since it has the stretchy part it would fit really well and maybe this part could go over the bump i don't know we'll have to try these on later in the vlog so i can show you but that's from princess polly i might as well show you another thing i got for the baby moon this is from amazon though it's a really cute ruched textured one piece it's like it's really pretty purple, has a low back, and this is gonna be so stinking cute. I don't have any, really, <laughs> bikinis that fit me right now. My boobs have grown like three sizes, and obviously my bump has grown, which means my hips have grown, and there's just a lot of things. So next we can go on to Bed Bath & Beyond. So if you didn't see my last video, we upgraded to a king mattress, and just bed in general. So that mattress did come with two pillows from Helix. I needed to get two more king pillows to replace our standard pillow that we had from the last bed. So I got two king size pillows. They feel pretty comfy. Obviously I wasn't able to feel them because I ordered them online, but I really like them. They're by the brand Nestwell. Down alternative king pillows. And there were two of those, obviously. Very excited about that. Also got a new set of sheets because we only have one set right now that are from Target. I like to have two sets of sheets just so when one's in the washing machine, I'm not stressing about having it done the same day. So I can just switch it out with this one. But this is a flannel sheet set. King size, obviously. It says it's extra soft and it fits the same softness that's on this and it is very soft. But obviously winter's approaching. And the nights have actually been pretty freezing here, so this is gonna be exciting. It's like an off-white color. So yeah, flannel sheet set. So pumped. And then, I'm so excited about this. I have been wanting to get a Dutch oven for a long time because ever since I made mac and cheese the other night, I wanted to do a baked 
recipe but i didn't have any like oven dishes that i could use so i knew i wanted to get a dutch oven this one is so cute i just think it'll be perfect winter and thanksgiving recipes and soups and all that and i never wanted to spend the money on one like at target or anything even though those are really cute so i figured this was the perfect opportunity because obviously bed bath and beyond had a good range thing is so peppy by the brand our table Okay, that was a little painful. And I think this will look so good just in the kitchen. So pretty, look at this. This is the lid, it's a six quart one. And now I already wanna make something. Look how pretty this is. They had other colors, but I really liked the black. I think this is so cute. So that's all from Bed Bath & Beyond. All pretty exciting stuff, if I'm gonna be honest. On to Target. I feel like I'm yelling in this video, but it's because every time I talk, I have to like use all the breath that I have. <laughs> now on to Target. A few, obviously, Christmas things that I'll decorate with in this video, but I saw this little mini wreath, and I've been wanting to get a mini wreath to put on the cabinets that are above the microwave in the kitchen, because I see a lot of people do this, like, usually over their stove. We have kind of a different situation than that but i think it'll still work and it's cute and it has little bells that was adorable a few dollar section things that were all five dollars of course got a little cake stand i thought i could put something on here i don't know i'm not gonna try to back that up <laughs> then i got this in the dollar section it's a little canister i thought i would put coffee beans in here and put it next to our coffee machine i got a cute little spoon to put in our utensil holder i saw these little snowflakes that are so cute they're just like fluffy and i got five of them and i thought they would be really cute to hang is that an earthquake? These would be cute to hang somewhere. Not sure where, there's five of them. Super cute. I got these two sets of napkins. They're just red and green plaid and I think they're adorable. I love Thresholds brand and also Hearth and Hand, obviously. It kind of gives Hearth and Hand vibes, but I think these are really cute. I wanted to take the table runner off the table because I'm not feeling it. And then I'll probably replace them with these and lay them out with like a plate on top, you know, the vibe. Excited about those. I got some decaf espresso beans. Well, not espresso. Just decaf blue bottle beans. Now I don't have an excuse not to go to Starbucks anymore. White cheddar cheese at Grooves, the best. All the boxes were like super disheveled that was the best looking one so <laughs> hopefully it's okay but two more dollar section things i found these two little boards so this wooden one and then this little plate they look cute layered like this i could put these as decoration in the kitchen which would be cute and then use them obviously to serve things once we host i think we're actually hosting christmas here which is super exciting because obviously we've never been able to host a holiday because i've lived in an apartment and keiko and i didn't live together until this year so it's very very exciting and i love our house so that's exciting and then i got two of the sweaters that i showed you in the dressing room i just sized up one size for each of them so i got this in an extra large but it's just so cozy brown oversized sweater that's so soft and then i got this teal one i don't know something about it is just really cute to me i sized up to a large i tried on a medium but i didn't like how short it was but this one should be cuter with some um higher waisted leggings i think this would be really cute so i just love the colors of that that is everything that I got, finally. I actually have one more thing from Amazon, but I'll show you in a little bit when I put it together. It's a little side table for the nursery. But yeah, now I need to clean up all this stuff, put everything away, which is gonna kind of be a lot of work. But, okay, we're gonna add some of the kitchen items in here now while I put them away. In case you don't know, Dutch ovens are heavy as heck. He's squishing my belly too. But this is just gonna stay here because, ow, my hair was caught in it. It blends in, but it looks so nice. I'm gonna put these beans in here. If that doesn't fit perfectly, I don't know what does, but look cute. There's that. How cute. That's somewhere over here, I guess. So stick it there for now. I need to do dishes, but I feel like I've done dishes 50 times in this vlog, so I'm not going to do that for you right now. Where should I put these things? Well, if I don't stack them, that can go there. Yeah, that's cute. This one doesn't stand up very well. How about we put it over here for our spices? Cute. Okay, now for the dining table. I actually ordered this quilt for baby by Brixton Phoenix. It's like a really cute online shop. And it just has these faces on it. And then the other side is striped. I think it just gives the cutest boy vibes. And he has a matching bamboo 
sleeper in the same print, so that's super cute. But it's time to take this table runner off. It's just not doing it for me. Not at all. I was thinking if you get placemats or something, these could be cute to just hang over the edge like this with the, t with the plate on top, maybe. <laughs> so cute, right? Way cuter than the table runner. And then I put this little thing that I got as a little stand for a couple of the trees. I think this is adorable. I love these napkins. Okay, now for the thing I said that I needed to build. It's just a tiny little side table to go next to the rocker. I never know what to call that chair. It's a rocker, it's a recliner, it's a glider. I think I'm just gonna call it a rocker. I always say something different and it's probably so confusing. Excuse me, I know you're curious. This should be the easiest thing to assemble ever. It just has three legs, one tabletop. <laughs> you probably just screw them in, so let's do it. I was literally gonna do this last night because I knew it would be fast, but I was like, no, I should wait until I vlog. So that's what I did. One leg, excuse me, two legs. I knew one of them would give me problems. And three legs. And there you have it. Excuse me, I'm trying to do the reveal. I think it's a good size too. It's actually pretty large on top. Can move that into the nursery eventually. Okay, so this will go right here. Yay! So cute. Okay, we're in my room now. I'm trying on the pieces, but these pants. Okay, yes. They are so comfortable because I got them such oversized but I love them. The only thing is they're a tiny bit long, but maybe if I wear like platform sneakers, they'll be better, but they're so comfy. 10 out of 10 recommend, and they are so soft. This skirt is also super cute. It's like perfect length. I need to move this stuff. I can stand up here. I love the color. It's so bright. You could even pull it down and wear it low rise have the belly out you know but i love that i got these things so oversized because if i didn't they'd be really squeezing me right now and like not comfy like i could have probably fit into my normal size but it would not be comfy you could even pull it over the bump that's too high for me <laughs> like so cute i'm so excited to style some outfits for our baby moon it's gonna be so fun but probably kind of stressful too okay I feel like this is a little bit strange. It's also kind of cute at the same time. It's supposed to be worn like this to where it's like tight around your waist and like half your butt and then flares out. There's also a little slit on the bottom. I think it's cute. It could definitely be styled and work, but flowy little skirt and obviously very comfortable. So those three pieces were definitely a win and I'm so excited. I'm probably gonna try on the one piece. Swimsuit also might not show you, might show you, depending on how it looks. Let's see. Okay, I'm just on a roll with these finds. Look how cute this is. It fits perfectly, still has a lot of room to stretch, obviously. Back is an open back. It's not too cheeky, so that's good. I think this is gonna be so cute and I love the color. Well, I told I told you guys I've been ordering a lot of things so I just got two more Amazon packages this one came in clear packaging so we know what it is it's a dress also for the baby moon but it looks so comfy the colors were a little different online not as bright but it's cute it's pink and orange super super stretchy material and it's a little maxi dress and this will be perfect to just lounge in dinner in so stretchy they have so many prints and colors too that i am so tempted to just order if this one fits well but let me tell you i'm done trying things on for today so maybe i'll show you in a future vlog what that looks like or you can wait for the baby moon to see what it is so if you remember i showed you i think it was earlier in this vlog the pajama set that i got pajama dress that i got but this is the pants and top version so soft so cute i love the color so christmasy now i've got options for christmas you know so many options me always now seeing how much they can stretch but they are like $40 which is kind of expensive still cheaper than like Victoria's Secret you know because those are like $90 but way too expensive okay I think I'm going to end off this vlog because I'm pretty sure I got a lot of footage for it and I want to start editing it now everything I talked about today that I can find will be linked below for you guys because I know you're gonna ask for links because I did show so many products in this video thank you guys so much for watching I love you so so much get excited for some future content because like I said we're going on our baby moon in two weeks right after Thanksgiving and that's gonna be a really fun video and I'm so we are so excited to go on that trip guys it is much needed and we cannot wait 
<clears throat> but love you guys so much make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram and tiktok and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>